I'm here at the LSU Ag Center Hammond Research Station where large plantings of shrubs are put in for evaluation and display. You might be interested to see these azaleas blooming here behind me in late summer. Well, these are part of the Encore group and they're well known for blooming in the late summer, fall, and into the spring. What I want to show you really, however, is a strange crusty growth growing on this azalea right here. Notice how sections of this azalea are not looking very good at this point. Some of these branches look poorly. And you might be tempted to blame this strange growth growing on it, but don't. These growths are called lichens. Lichens are primitive plant-like organisms. They are not parasites. They simply attach themselves to the bark, and they really don't hurt the plant that they're growing on. They get the water and the minerals they need from rain, and they have algae, which photosynthesizes, so they make all the food they need with the energy of light. However, when plants are doing poorly, lichens may proliferate on those plants, mostly because more light shines through when the plant has a poor leaf canopy. There's no need to do anything about the lichens themselves, but a plant that has a lot of lichens on it being low in vigor, try fertilizing it, maybe improve the growing conditions to see if maybe it will come back. But again, when you see these lichens, whether these crusty lichens or these hairier looking lichens, remember they're harmless and there's no need to be concerned. There's another issue that concerns people that really is not a problem I'd like to show you next. Now lichens can appear on perfectly healthy plants, so they don't always indicate a problem. In the case of crepe myrtles, they get rid of lichens by peeling their bark, and I always get a lot of questions this time of the year. Every few years, your crepe myrtles will peel their bark. Do not worry about it. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.